Gay man walking. All right, it's the beginning of day 15. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> yeah, at least there's precipitation. It's not snow, but it's something. Ugh. It's like an English Christmas. This is Ollie uh, when it's raining. <laughs> Can you turn to the side? This is an early Christmas present for everybody. <laughs> the sexy German dinosaur. So because this is New Zealand, it literally rained for 20 seconds after we put on sunscreen. So in other words, our eyes and our mouth ate all of our sunscreen. <laughs> Merry Swedish and German Christmas, everybody. What's your name? Cam. Cam is giving us a ride across that river. Oh it's fucking Christmas in Sweden. <laughs> and Germany. And Germany. Sit! This is oh, your Christmas right? present. Yeah, hold you're something. <laughs> this is what we're doing this morning. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> the Swedish Christmas present. Oh, your poles? Your, your poles are like candy canes. Wait, 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 wait. Why is this so amusing? We've literally been sheltered too long. This is so this is so exciting. Yeah. Oh shit, I should hold on. <laughs> I think we're cheating some of the trail. Uh, yeah! Thank you so much, Cam. Merry Christmas! On the top of every hill in New Zealand, there's bees. What a great little surprise. Also, yesterday we were camping on the path, surrounded by private property, and this owner of land came with his dog, told us we shouldn't camp there, and we're like, ooh, but then he was fine. But then he told us about glowworms for what felt like half an hour. I'm like, I don't think glowworm I've ever cared about was the character from James and the Giant Peach. Anyway, that was our second human interaction in the past 24 hours, other than shop owners who feed us burgers who are my favorite people in New Zealand. You're the backbone of this country. Thank you for existing. There's a full on garden over there and I'm so tempted just to be like, is there some fresh thyme I can steal? Or any vegetable? I think the last vegetable I had was beetroot. It was on my fucking burger yesterday. Maybe next time. I literally think this is the most perfect set of cows. Even the fact that one of them is currently taking a poo. Merry Christmas, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Ben, for making these guys have a good time. See ya. These jerks are driving down the road. I'm jealous of the fact that they feel comfortable going down roads. And they're going to stop at every single one of us and try and make us feel bad. But now I'm just happy. Merry Christmas again to all my Swedish and German friends. I'm about to come up to a stand for Christmas. Oh my god, I have tears in my eyes. And it's from the wind, but still there's tears in my eyes. What is happening? Merry Christmas! I want to hug you, but I smell so... Thank you. What is this magic? Oh my god, there's something that's... Oh my god, what are your names? Derek. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Ross. <laughs> oh my god, does he know Christmas carols at all? <laughs> that was one, yeah. Bye, Christmas angels! I should get up the road. So awesome! What a beautiful, beautiful world. Um, that magical Christmas couple, like the anti Scrooge and the anti Grinch of the world, literally saw us all walking down the road when they drove past and decided to, like, scurry down to the end of the driveway with a table, a dog, and Christmas cake, and food, and Christmas decorations. And today's been such a good day. Like, I've been whistling so much fucking S Club 7, you will not believe it. They hugged us even though we smell. Their dog can sing? I don't even know what's happening. But anyway, it's Christmas, and it's windy, and it's sunny, and it's beautiful, and life is great. I hope just one day when you're walking, you get an N and Derek to feed you cake. Ah, uh, uh, yay. Oh my god, it is almost Christmas and there are turkeys. Don't know if I should warn them, but you guys are not safe. Hey uh, guys, it's probably best for you to stay wild, including you little baby. God damn, I scare everything. But it's not as scary as the idea that they might be eaten for Christmas. 
Sorry, I'm eating peanuts as usual. We're in a place I can finally pronounce called Pachawa. <laughs> I can try. If we can make it, we're gonna go across an estuary, which is hard word to say, estuary. Which I don't really know what it is, but I think it's like a piece of land that during low tide is like free to walk across, but during high tide is like, don't go. When low tide is at 10.50, it's like noon something. <laughs> so we think that maybe if it's medium tide, which is a thing I've just made up, we'll probably be able to get across. <sighs> God. <laughs> Jesus, that was the most wind. There's literally a list of what not to do when doing the estuary. So there we are, and you cross over, and it's two kilometers until you get there. Okay, please do not go on the land as cows have escaped the into estuary. Oh God, we think we just missed it, shit. Okay, I'm gonna try and see what happens. This is not great. <laughs> Saw this coming from a mile away. Oh my god, that is like sinking sand. This was definitely not the smart idea. God, no way. Oh my god. Okay, that did something. Now I think I'll wait for a bit to see if someone comes around the corner. I waited for a bit, but I don't think they're coming because Ollie the Germinator would have probably been here by now. So now I'm gonna go catch up with the Swede and the German and hopefully we get to a place to celebrate Christmas. Because if not, then we're, we're all gonna be separate somewhere. Oh no, those are just trees. I thought they were people. So I found the road that I have to go down, <laughs> and it's r &B Road. Not so culturally uh, relevant right now, but probably won't be by the time this video comes out. But anyway, I'm gonna go down this road and hopefully find the girls and or the place to stay. I found it. I saw the word coffee and bed. Woo! I'm so happy that Rasmus found this place. I'm just gonna keep walking, hope those guys are alive. Okay, so my tent fell off. <laughs> just passed a sign that means I'm close. Look at this view. I came from across that water. <laughs> I'm back at this view. Because I just backtracked a little because there's a house. Up here is a steep road going down. And apparently it's there. <laughs> where, where, where is this place? What is happening? I've just gone back and forth like four times. <sighs> just gonna squeeze through you. Oh, there it is! It's our Christmas home! Oh my god, water. What is this? Dry and... Oh my god, are you scary? Yay! Where did it come from? Hey! Merry Swedish and German Christmas. Faster. Oh my god! Oh, coconut water! Oh my god! Mar Do they have Mars bars? Oh my god! They have Mars bars! They have soap! I can't breathe! I'm so thirsty! They have beds! Oh my god! Us! Look at us! Whoa! A full length mirror! They have coffee! They have Earl Grey! Oh my god, this is unreal. <laughs> they have stuff written on the walls I can't read because my brain is dead. Oh my god. Like a Swedish game apparently. Some kind of Swedish box game? A cactus? And friendship. Hi, I'm Louie. I'm 16 and I have blah blah blah. This is awesome. Thank you, Louie. Who's 16 and got a fish? <laughs> so, we've had showers. I didn't wash my hair. There's a couch. Yay. Yeah, we showered. Look at this place. They have a couch. They have a thing full of like sweets and chocolate and pasta. Yeah, and we just pay like two bucks for it and stuff. 
Oh my god, we haven't eaten fruit or vegetable in ages. <laughs> Look at this. What is this? <laughs> Yay. Wow. Thank you guys. Maple and brown sugar slow cooked in applewood smoked sweet and savory ham jerky. You want to taste? <laughs> Come on, it's Christmas. Money would be great. Oh, it's gonna get emotional. Maybe I should stop. <laughs> <laughs> and pipe cleaners. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, I get it now. No, I don't get it. Powered by cricket flour. Can I eat that? Can I find it? Somewhere? It's ground up cl crickets. Like, eat, eat, eat at night when you're trying to sleep. Uh -huh. You don't know the dry things that hop around the ground Animals. in deserts. Yeah, small bugs. Yeah. yeah, like oh. but baby ones. Yeah. <laughs> and some pipe cleaners. There you go. Oh. That was a great <laughs> fucking shit. <laughs> Cheers! Woo! Everyone lift up their butt squares. <laughs> butt squares. Oh, I got a green one. Yeah. <laughs> Different color this year. Yeah. <laughs>90 mile beach flashbacks right now, guys. Oh, yeah, this is gorgeous. If this is what 90 mile beach was supposed to be like, then I can tell you 100% that my experience on 90 mile beach was bad because of me. I can actually look up. I'm not turtling it. My feet are not swollen full of water. They're not killing me. My shoulders aren't digging down, pushing me into the hell I'll inevitably go to. Anyway, this is great. I'm just power stomping through sand. That's what I'm looking at. There's a lot more to go. Of course, because it's New Zealand. The beach is hilly. The smile is now permanently fixated on my face every time I go up and down hills. So in other words, every single second of being in New Zealand, it's starting to go up. <laughs> and it's already painful. And we're done. I'm kidding. And it's already 1.30, so you know, that's the best time of day to go hiking. This is trail realness, because we've got to the top of a section. We don't know which way to go. All the arrows are pointing one way, but our friend has gone up there. Here's that, that beach and here's that beach. So we found which way to go. I've got 2.6 liters of water. I'm probably going to pee out a liter just for extra weight loss. And now I'm having 90 mile flashbacks. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, it's your birthday. Give us a break. Nature. Oh. Bye. This is so hard, but so worth it. Yeah, worth it. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, the most... <sighs> Me and Ollie made it, woo! You can see it raining. Come to us. There is oh man, those old people were putting us to shame, except until they realized they don't have any fucking shame. And just because there's a little bit more of something to go up, doesn't mean you have to fucking do it. What is up with that human condition where we think we have to uh, do all these extreme things? I say as I walk to bluff at the bottom of this entire country. I'll think about that one on the way down. Oh my god, I just had a really bad spill. I dropped my milk everywhere. <laughs> I just fell down that slope. My pole went flying. And I slid down like all cool with my leg, like whatever, no big deal. I'm fine, but that could have gone really awry. Which is a really stupid word to use and had to use a lot of brain energy. Hi Ollie. I fell and I almost died. Yeah. <laughs> German chickens. Everything looks like food. But now my Twix bar has melted in the shape of her foot. <laughs> 
Oh man, you're gonna have so much footage to work with. It got cold, but we're all here. Yay! Woo! Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. The guy who's driving us tomorrow on the boat who I've been texting all day named some Peter uh, just messaged me. He's like, you can stay at first house on the left at Mackenzie Bay. It's some guy named Doug's house. And oh, it's instantly not windy. And hopefully Doug will cook us dinner. The next video will be of me saying there's no dinner. And we're eating pasta. So we found Doug! <laughs> kind of. We found some kind of house that's two minutes up here. It has a microwave, which is enough to make me think that there might be more than just a microwave. <laughs> Doug, if you ever see this retro house and you're not here, and this is weird, but um, I saw signs saying that we could stay here for zero dollars and signs saying we'd stay here for twenty dollars, and now we're at your house and there's nowhere to stay. Oh, but there's a fireplace. Where are we? This is magical. It keeps going. Okay, maybe they're on the other side. <laughs> what, is, what is happening? And there's a bathroom. Oh, we think we found the camping place. And I don't want to go further because that would be someone's shed. Yeah, and there's more houses up there. What is happening, Doug? Doug, get back to us. Help us. We're going through a bamboo forest on Christmas, and we have nowhere to stay. But I'm pretty sure that we can just stay here. All right, Doug, we're coming to find your daughter, apparently, because I just spoke to whatever basic white person's name that I just spoke to. Just spoke to. And he said, there's some cottages you can speak to Moira, his daughter, and find out what is going on, because we have no idea. So the first house we went to, they didn't even have a door. Now we're just looking for Moira. Yeah, I think those are the cottages. And it's so gorgeous and I just want to be like, fed. Oh sweet, thanks, sorry. It's a long walk into Bamboo Forest. We've had an amazing adventure, guys. We'll fill you in. Yeah, this is magical. I can't even process my thoughts but I need to get my poles. Okay. <laughs> Christmas miracle! Well, we just went down to a cottage and knocked on it and Neil came out with Moira and the dog and everything fit together. And then he brought us here and just said, yeah, you can pitch a tent, we'll tell Doug. And he was such a lovely guy and he just talked so much about this country and I'm now rejuvenated and it's amazing. And I'm so hungry and it's like seven. Everyone's over there, so I'm gonna go over there, goodbye. Christmas dinner. What do we have? Couscous, dried mushrooms, barbecue chicken, flavor, oregano, and crispy onions. Sauce and realness. See you tomorrow. Oh my god. Doug is amazing. We met Doug and he helped us get from A to B and he said there's penguins here and there's a microwave. I'm so excited about nothing. We're literally waking up at 7 so we can get a fucking boat with this guy named Peter tomorrow. Merry Christmas everybody.